everyone hears about acid mine drainage and uh, it's been you know, brought to the attention that it is becoming an increasingly critical problem for Johannesburg. At what point in time will, it, will the leakage that we're seeing into South Africa's water table uh, reach an environmentally critical level? Um, there's competing interest as to when exactly that will happen. Um, what we as One Source Water um, you know, believe is that it, AMD poses a threat to the general water security of the country and, and an effect uh, of technology that will have as many positive um, effects onto the, 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 <laughs> the water security of the country is what it is that we, are we hope to achieve. Uh, there are some uh, talks that as early as 2013 we could see um, the acid mine drainage really starting to have a critical uh, a problem and uh, start, start starting to take its toll on our water. But of course acid mine drainage is part of a bigger water problem that we have in South Africa. And uh, you know how, how severe is the water crisis and the pollution of our water tables at, in South Africa at this stage? Well as presented to uh, the Parliamentary Committee on Water, and the AMD issue, um, you know, an, a, a view to water running out, clean water running out by 2014 to 2018, depending on which, um, you know, a specialist or a field specialist that you ask, um, you know, AMD poses uh, an increasing challenge to an already vexing problem space of water security in a water scarce environment. Uh, what we propose is a solution that best utilizes the water that's available and makes more water um, available to the general population. By of course, we don't have the technology here to right. see that you're proposing, but uh, just give us a, a quick recap of exactly how it works and how is this a new solution to what has already been tabled? Um, well, it's a new solution in the marketplace. It's a solution that's been available uh, in Europe, specifically in the UK, for the last uh, 15 to 30 years. Electrocoagulation is a technology that's been uh, available for longer than Electrocoagulation that. Electrocoagulation is a word that I'm sure <laughs> most people won't know what that means. What does that mean? Well, it's simply what it is, is putting an electric charge uh, at a molecular level, affecting the, the contaminants in water, thus allowing you to separate them from the clean drinking water uh, as well. So you separate the pollutants from the, from the water. So this is different to the usual uh, treating of water that we have in right. South Africa. And that's the exciting prospect that, that we believe that we present to the marketplace. It's one that says uh, we have an opportunity to treat once and treat right. And by that we mean that uh, if we extract the contaminants from the water, we make more water available. So we're not affecting negatively uh, the water tables that exist uh, currently. So it's a solution that aims to make more water make better use of the water that we have available. The cost of the technology, because of course that is the big kicker. Of course, uh, kick um, and, and that's the other exciting part of the technology is that uh, from a capital per perspective and also from an operational and maintenance uh, perspective, we very competitive and again- what Competitive as in? A, a, as in, it's a, it's, a comp it's a cheap, it depends on what you're comparing it to, but regardless, uh, it's, a, it's a cheaper alternative and it's one that makes more water available. Uh, and doesn't require subsequent uh, effects, you know, to, to the water. So it makes more water available. Uh, Treasury has set aside 225 million rand in order to deal with acid mine drainage in the medium term budget. Uh, where does the cost of your technology fit into a budget like that? Well, it fits, it fits in, you know, very well. Uh, we, we have a technology that we know to be effective. Uh, it's been running at 30 sites across the world. Uh, dealing with similar complex problems. It's one that doesn't require multiple iterations of solution and it's one that makes more clean, drinkable, usable uh, water available to... Are to you looking people. to uh, private funding in order to implement these systems or are you appealing to government to adopt this new technology? Um, well, it's a multiplicity of approaches. What it is that we focused on doing is saying that there is a workable, real solution uh, available in the marketplace um, and that we hope for government and the responsible parties to take an honest and clean look at it. Um, and we believe that it uh, affects positive change in a wide range of uh, specific points that are important to the South African economy. Um, How does it address the problem though of the mine dumps and the, and the leakage of that acid mine water that continues to move into the water table? Because you know, we, they, we still have that problem present. Right. The, the, what, what, it, uh, what we do have in country is a test unit that is at one of those sites. 
effectively what we're doing is, 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 a, is it is an intervention uh, that takes that water that is uh, entering the water table, uh, affects uh, change to it at a, a molecular level, atomic level, separates the contaminants from it, and then releases what was then clean water into the environment. So, so essentially, that is, the inf that is the exact space which we, we hope to intervene, is at that point where we have a potentially th uh, dangerous and threatening um, you know, situation in the form of AMD, um, intervening, doing something positive to it, and then releasing more water into the environment that helps to stabilize the already negatively affected water tables by, by releasing water that is clean and usable uh, into the environment.